Welcome to Showreel. I'm Matt Clayton. And I'm Andrew Cowderoy. On this week's episode, we'll discuss the 48-hour film project, including a special screening of the Showreel team's practice film. We have, the, we have the news, as usual, and we'll review the new Steve Jobs biopic, Jobs. Due to budget cuts, we couldn't afford a guest today, and our budget was zero to begin with, so we had to sell some of our furniture to afford our volunteer crew. So instead of a guest, I've been out talking to the fine people of Brisbane. In the upcoming Batman vs Superman film, Henry Cavill will be back as Superman, and Ben Affleck has been cast as Batman. This has been a controversial move amongst fans, but why? I took to the streets to find out. So I'm here at the West End Market, so I'm going to ask people some questions, and they're hopefully going to answer me. I'm going to ask them about Batman, mostly. Let's see if these people know about Batman. Do you know anything about Batman? Yes. Vaguely. No. No, um, I haven't spent a lot of time thinking about it, to be honest. Um, yeah, nah. <laughs> well, that answer's nothing. Actually, I did get better answers than that. Um, so have you heard about Ben Affleck being cast as the next Batman? I have heard about that. And what do you think about that? Well, I think he's a great actor, so I think he might do well in it. I haven't heard that. I, I didn't know that. Ben Affleck. What an interesting character for Batman, yeah. <laughs> No, I haven't, but I have. I'm not happy about it now. Do you think he would make a good Batman? I don't know. I mean, Pearl Harbor was a bit of a shocker, but he's done some good things since then. Oh, I think he would um, be great. I think he'd um, any character he took on, I think he'd do a good job, yeah. Well, I don't think he's the best choice for Batman. Who do you think would be the best choice? I reckon bring back Michael Keaton. <laughs> Is he your favourite Batman? I think so, yeah. He added that little bit of humour to it. Who's, who's been your favourite Batman? Um, I mean, well, it's a tough question, isn't it? I mean, what's your favourite Radiohead song, really? Who was the last Batman in The Dark Knight? Christian Bale. That, that guy, yeah, I like him, he's hot. <laughs> so he, he should just come back and stay as Batman forever? Yeah, he should be Batman forever. Probably one of the earlier guys, sure, yeah. What's your favourite Radiohead song? Talk show host. <laughs> So who do you think would win in a fight, Batman or Superman? I think Superman would win. Superman? But I'd say Superman. Oh, definitely Superman. And why's that? Well, I think um, when it comes down to it, he's quicker. Yeah? Yeah, I think Superman is quicker than Batman is. Well, I don't know, like, Superman's weakness is like a rock. Superman's um, got greater powers. Uh, after watching the last Superman movie, um, I can't see how Batman could possibly last very long. He supposedly can't die, so like, yeah. even though he has died a couple of times, <laughs> DC just keeps bringing him back. And his uh, ability to just fly off is, um, without the use of a vehicle gives him the upper hand, I think, yeah. Whereas Batman's like technology, so he's not actually super, like he just uses gadgets and stuff. So I'd have to say Superman would win. Yeah, I don't know. Superman is the man of steel. Batman's immortal, right? Yeah. Well, what happens if Batman gets some kryptonite? Well, then, uh, yeah, it balances the scales, doesn't it? Yeah, it should be an interesting movie, though. So what do you think about Ben Affleck as Batman? You see, I don't really mind it that much. I think... I think I have to be the only person ever, as the least harsh film critic in the world, I think I have to be the only person ever who actually didn't mind Daredevil. <laughs> um, but Argo was, like, no one can say Argo was bad. It was fantastic. So he's done some pretty cool stuff in the past. So while I'm not sure if he's going to be fantastic, I'm sure he's going to make the role his own. And that's what's really important with superheroes, I think. Yeah, I don't think... He's not the greatest actor in the world, but he's not, he's not terrible, is yeah. he? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I saw Daredevil when I was a kid, and, I mean, it was all right at the time. Um, to be fair, I haven't watched it since I was about 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he... I, I mean, he was good in Argo, yeah. But, I mean, if you look at the other actors who've played um, Batman, none of them, other than maybe Christian Bale, none of them have really been excellent actors. So, they, it's not really a kind of role that needs a brilliant actor to do. Mm. You just have to be able to do a deep voice and yeah, go, Where's like, Rachel? It's like Ben Affleck might not be as good as Christian Bale, but... All the he's going to be on par, if not better, than I think every other Batman. So it's like, how bad can you get? Yeah. yeah. Well, what about 
we, I mean, we've discussed this question before on Showreel but with uh, Nick and Courtney. Yeah. And I think uh, you and Brooke were there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, who would win in a fight, Batman or Superman? It's a really hard one because I just don't know. Because Superman is so clever. Um, Batman, I'm sorry. Batman is so clever that I think it's, it would, I'm sure he'd be able to get him to get in contact with um, Kryptonite, Kryptonite somehow. But... Batman is Batman. It's like it's like it's like um, an immovable object versus an unstoppable force. It's just going to yeah. cause a nuclear explosion. <laughs> well, not a nuclear. I don't know just that an that's explosion. what happens in physics, but yeah, <laughs> an explosion of some kind. Yeah, I mean, I think Superman will win. I, well, at the end of the film, they're clearly going to team up and take down Lex Luthor or something. Will happen. Yeah, like, but yeah. yeah, take down Brian Cranston. <laughs> yeah, who should be awesome. He, he will be. Yeah. Well, I also asked the people of Brisbane about their favorite films and TV shows. I mean, what's your favourite film? Of all time? Yeah. Sea of Love? I just like the Friday the 13th. Big Lebowski? Um, God, like Encino Man? From like the 90s? I've never even heard of that. What? <laughs> oh, Shawshank Redemption. Avatar. Probably he died with a falafel in his hand. With Noah Wilson. It's kind of an odd art house flick, but I don't know why, I just kind of like it, yeah. <laughs> And what's your favourite TV show? TV show? I love The Walking Dead. It's my life. Maybe Skins. But my favourite TV show would have to be MASH. Doctor Who. Awesome. Uh, probably Peep Show. Offspring. The Gruen Transfer. We did a poll of the Showreel volunteers to find out Showreel's favourite film. Uh, we did the poll over Facebook, so obviously there were a few problems with the results, but uh, essentially, everyone who answered had different favourites, except for uh, the two people who voted for Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yeah, one of those was me. So yes, that is the, the best film ever. My favourite film, uh, I think it was Inception, but I've changed it. I'm pretty sure it's Blades of Glory. <laughs> Very different films. Yeah. <laughs> Other favourites were One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, The Basketball Diaries, Brazil, Twelve Monkeys, Matilda, Life of Pi and Hot Fuzz. In a poll to find out Showreel's favourite TV show, we asked volunteers to pick their three favourites. One person only picked one, but Elliot won uh, the t with the top score of picking seven. Uh, so our top favourite TV show is, unsurprisingly, Doctor Who. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, the other top shows are In Between as NCIS, Black Books and The Simpsons. Simpsons is awesome. It's just... <laughs> How can a show go for that long and without being so brilliant? It's like, it yeah. has its down points, but it yeah. also has its major up it is. points. Yeah. It's, it's the best cartoon. Yeah. Well, we have to take a break, but we'll be back soon for more Showreel. Don't go away. Yeah.